Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life Apothecary and I have three decks for me to choose from today for intuitive messages that you need to hear right now. Now, one of my followers so sweetly and so kindly asked that these messages be ones that are very, very gentle in their nature and spirit says yes. You guys know I can really dive deep into um, what I allow spirit to allow me to say and to speak. And in this case, they were so gung-ho for a more gentle, soul-soothing message. So let's go ahead and see what that is. The cards will be linked down below in the description box, the ones that I'm working with, as well as the timestamps that you're going to want to see so that you can see your or hear your message. I'll see you guys at your timestamp. Okay, my loves, if you chose pile number one, which is this beautiful clear quartz crystal baby, this is your reading. Now again, the tarot deck that I'm working with is the Light Seekers Tarot, which I was dragging my feet to get, but I'm so happy I did because it is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, my loves, first and foremost, let's go ahead and dive into what I'm already seeing right now, which is the Tower card and the Six of Cups. This is already telling me right away that this pile has been through some pretty massive uh, changes, big time, big time. The tower card is always that bolt of lightning that strikes out of left field. Like we just don't see it coming. Or if we do see it coming, we are not emotionally ready for it. And what concerns me is the fact that the six of cups is here. And when I say concern, I don't know if I necessarily feel a sense of concern as much as I feel a sense of like it draws my attention to it big time it draws my attention to it six of cups and the queen of swords right here so one thing that i can sense and one thing that i can tell and one thing that i'm hearing is the journey spirit is talking to me to talk to you about the journey up until this point. The word that's coming through is hostility. Things have been feeling so hostile. They feel so volatile. And you're almost starting to expect and expect, yeah, you're, you're starting to expect the worst. And as I said the word expect, I heard the word project. So you're then projecting the worst. And spirit is so clearly telling me to tell you right now that put that aside for right now. Go ahead and put that aside. And Spirit is guiding you right now to go ahead and drop your sword. Drop your, I heard the word demeanor. Why did I hear the word demeanor? Because demeanor is not who you are. It's how you are coming across to the world. And it also feels like I'm hearing the word deflection. It's what you are holding up this shield to deflect yourself so that people, you think in your head, you know, don't fuck with me. That's kind of the vibe that is I and that I'm hearing and what I'm sensing is this vibe of if I can intimidate or if I can push away or if I can, this is your way of protecting. If I can protect myself in this way, I won't be messed with or bad things won't happen or this won't happen. And spirit says, let your guard down and let love in. It's so good to have your journey my love spirit is so clearly speaking this to me like it's so good you may not see this you may not feel this but spirit is saying it's so good that you had the journey that you did because as crazy as it might seem or as crazy as this situation this circumstance might have been because it literally has been set up to derail you believe it or not that's the word that i'm hearing derail you from the path that you were originally going on which would not have been a higher purpose a higher destiny with the six of cups you guys you are reuniting you are reuniting with your purpose you are reuniting i'm hearing wish fulfilled as a child as a baby as a little one as a teenager when you were in your youth, I'm just hearing profound youth. So that if that's if you were older and you were, it, I mean, it doesn't matter. Like if you were, like age doesn't matter is what it is, what it is that I'm hearing. If you are not in your youth, you're older than your youth is what I'm trying to say. You still had this 
innocence about you, this spark, this knight of wands energy that was coming through that is so excited and so passionate and so enthusiastic about this journey, about where this can go and what can happen. And sometimes life circumstances derail you. And I want you and spirit wants you to feel that Feel in your heart and understand in your heart that the derailing was actually a gift. Um, it was a, a massive blessing. I feel like you would have, with your heart and your passion and your drive, your ambition, you would have continued to carry on. You would have continued to go on. And spirit didn't want that for you. Um, in fact, there was a very, I'm hearing this, I'm hearing, oh my gosh, there's these beautiful prayers. Oh, look. Three of Cups here. Three of Cups is so interesting because I'm getting a person in prayer or in intention through childhood where they were sitting with their spirit guides. This, These are not kids, or if they are children, they're like-minded children and you guys all sat together and you talked about your future. You talked about your dreams, your wishes, happily ever after, what that looked like for you. And spirit is saying, remember when you had that hope, remember when you had that feeling of purity and innocence and desire. Um, that is not something that I have forgotten, even though you may have seen you getting derailed or things getting toppled over or things kind of being ripped out from your grip. I haven't forgotten that. I haven't forgotten that intention, that intention when you were talking to your angels or talking to your friends or in that moment, that one moment that the purity of what of your request was so powerful that even though it was in the past. It is still felt now. It is still felt now. And that's what's coming into fruition. Look, that was a seed that was planted, my loves. That's the Ace of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. That was a seed that was planted that it does take time to grow. And time has passed. And your circumstances and your events, and I have chills right now, my loves, your circumstances and, and the events that are around you, look, Ten of Swords, everything that you've had to say, say goodbye to, everything that you had to free up and let go, none of it has been forgotten by spirit, none of it has been forgotten by your soul, but and, and your own higher self, but spirit says, I know that you haven't forgotten that, but also know that you're being fiercely protected and guarded right now, and that's why we are leading you along your own map. I'm also hearing follow the beat of your own drummer. So this is you stepping away from how things have always been before you, the way of your family, your friends, your generation before you. You are really swimming in uncharted territories and that can be really terrifying but also know that you're being fiercely protected by the divine goddess mother she is in here protecting you anything that tries to come up and crush you even when you get derailed even though when you get rerouted it's to navigate you away from an undercurrent that you may not have seen that felt like it would have pulled you over. Look, my loves, this sun card here and the 10 of swords, everything that you've had to let go of was ultimately for your greatest joy, your greatest blessing, your happily ever after. It's also a part of your journey because what I can sense with the sun card, there's something about you understanding yourself and your internal self and your self-worth that it helps it i don't want to say that it humbled you in the sense that you needed to be humbled but it helped you to be more relatable it helped you to be more relatable because there are going to be people that you are going to cross paths with you are going to be a love light that's what i'm hearing a love light a love magnet for other people that have to experience or are experiencing what you're experiencing and they have to or what you have experienced and they have to cross paths with you in order to receive your light and receive your hope and receive your inspiration and your leadership. This is a pile that is big time going to be a leader. I'm hearing, I'm really hearing just, I'm tired. Um, I feel like, I feel like I'm hearing, I'm, I don't know why I'm getting like father figure, um, an image of a father figure and just the expectation of someone coming in and protecting you for you and you feeling maybe potentially it's unfair or you're not ready or you're unprepared is the word that I'm hearing for to be a leader for others or to be a counsel to others. But again, that's what's being healed right now is the self-worth, the self-value and the self-power. You have to understand that you actually are very powerful and you protecting others does not mean that you yourself are not also being protected. Shall we look at your oracle? You let me know. 
reach for the stars. Some of you guys are afraid to do that. And Spirit says, I'm going to take your hands, your fingers off of everything that you've been holding on to um, and take that out of your hands so, that, so your hands are free so that you can reach back for that wish fulfillment. So you can reach back out and for that, for that happily ever after, for that, again, that wish, that seed that was planted years ago as a child or in this prime um, moment of youth, whatever that looks like for you. Look, it says you deserve only the best and this is all that you should focus your attention on. And by focus and the best, what I'm seeing, what I'm feeling is the best within yourself, the best within this moment and the time that you're spending with the divine and spirit right now because it is so healing, it's so cathartic for you. I love that. Enjoyment. There's something about this word enjoyment that's really coming through and striking me that says you can't enjoy your present circumstances if they're hostile, if they're volatile, and you can't enjoy it if you won't allow yourself to enjoy it. It's almost like a, you're punishing yourself by expecting the worst continually. Spirit says, give it to me. Oh my goodness, distant thunder. This is you guys expecting the worst. What is that? What is that over there, that lightning and that, I mean, this is also the tower card. You guys have lived lived it, you guys have seen it. And if anything was to come through, moving forward, please understand that this is literally clearing the air. This is clearing, I don't know if you guys can see that, clear the air. This is energy that's being cleared out of your hands, of your energy right now. Rainstorms are so healing. Great adventure. Take a risk and venture forward. That's going to be the biggest obstacle for you guys right now, but I'm also getting this really strong message right now, but that's, that's going to be your greatest gift is your ability to get back out there again and try again. Life is one big adventure. And also, I don't know if you guys have seen this, but the derailment and the rerouting, this person is on a ship right now. They're going somewhere and so are you. Where you're going is that wish. It's a space and a place that you are ultimately going to really truly enjoy. Don't freak out when you see the change here. This is the card of change. You're in the midst of massive, beautiful change. Okay, that's not necessarily a bad thing. That's an awesome thing, actually. All of these things are happening right now in order for your highest and greatest good, but also your joy and your pleasure. I'm um, also, last thing that I'm saying before I'll say goodbye to you guys, something about the lightning and the rain and the clouds and the earth, it's bringing me to earth energy very tangible. This is how I'm hearing, this is how you can manifest, believe it or not, is by focusing on the tangible, the things that, that you can feel within your senses. What does this rain smell like when it comes through? You can smell it sometimes before you can see it and you can feel the change in the air. That's what spirit is telling you to come into right now and enjoy those moments, those simple moments of pleasure, those simple moments of the senses and sensuality. I'm also seeing you guys burning incense. This is an honor and a gift and a blessing, and I don't know why I'm hearing a token, that you give to your spirit guides, your ancestors, or to the divine for the journey as a, as a gift of gratitude, but also it's going to purify your energy. It's going to purify your space. I'm also seeing if you can't burn incense within your space to take that outside. Something about being outside here and reaching for the stars, you have to be able to see the stars. And that smoke takes it to the sky. So if you can burn your incense in a park and just kind of vibe with yourself, stick that incense stick into the, into the earth, I guarantee you it will change your life forever in the best way possible. Thank you guys. Moving on to pile number two. Okay, my loves, if you chose pile number two, this is your reading. There's a little feather stuck to that crystal. I did not notice it until now. Um, feathers are really symbolic of Messages from Spirit. What I'm hearing, ugh, and look, what, it's so funny. I just heard, um, have you, I heard, first thing I heard was, have you had your break today? Like, have you had, have you had your break today? But I hear it as that commercial, have you had your break today? Like the Kit Kat bar? That's so random. 
But what it means is it's spirit being very playful with you right now. It's spirit being very playful with you. And what they're saying is, I don't know if you made a pact. That's a very specific word. But I don't know if you made a pact. I can't even put these cards together yet because um, I, I got to talk to you about it. But it feels like you made a pact with spirit saying, I will spend more time with you. I'll spend more time focusing on my intuition. I'll spend more time doing this. It's like you made a pact, a promise. And spirit is like, have you done that? And the funny thing is, is that they are amused by it. They're not angry. And they're saying that if you haven't done it lately, then this is why things aren't working out. <laughs> um, or if you have gone through a time, a moment in your life where things are not making you happy. This is the Four of Cups. Where things are not making you happy, satisfied, content. Things are a little off balance. And by little, I mean a lot. With the Six of Pentacles here reversed. Um, if you have been in a time or a moment or you're feeling that now, Spirit is saying, have you had that break yet? And once you have that break, guess what will happen? Everything will fall together seamlessly and simultaneously. You know, everything just happens so perfect, so aligned. Look at the joy on the Queen of Pentacles, I'm sorry, the Queen of Wands face and the Six of Pentacles. Also, guys, forgive me for the quality of this video. For whatever reason, I'm having a very Mercury retrograde day and I can't find my battery along with a few other things. Mercury's not retrograde right now, but it feels like it is. You would think that it is. Um, Ten of Cups here and Queen of Wands. So this is a reminder that your greatest joy, your greatest satisfaction is going to come from the fruit of life, the fruit of life, the seeds of life. It's going to be these things. That's what Spirit's calling it, not me. I've never called it that before in my life, but I'm here for it. Uh, yeah, Ace of Wands. It's going to be, but do you see how her eyes are closed? I'm trying to get this, guys, but it's so tough. Do you see how her eyes are closed and the spark is igniting within her? It's because it's intuitively sparked by a higher purpose, a higher power. And that is what I feel like Spirit is guiding you towards to right now. They're saying that once you take this break with us, for us, we are going to give you... The hope, the inspiration, the passion, the spark, the newness that you so are longing for. Five of Cups is here. So, the, and then, I don't know if you guys can see that's like a little black hole there. It just kind of spins out of control. And taking that time out, you may not want to take that time out, or you may feel like you need to be productive, or producing, or doing, um, or being pursued. You may be in a feeling, a space feeling that. You know, things aren't working out and things aren't in alignment. But Spirit says, did you have that break? Come back to us. This judgment card here is the, the, the card of awakening, of awareness, of answered. I just heard answered thoughts and prayers and questions, things that are on your heart. Spirit is really telling me right now that you are meant to explore the unknown. And you are guided to explore um, and be curious and to ask questions, not only of your life, but of this life, of this world, of this universe. Spirit is saying, listen, the, the, the fruit of your joy, I don't know why that's coming through, but the fruit of your joy, um, the things that are one thing, one of many things that's going to make you happy is not always having the answer to everything, but it's going to be the ability to explore the, that whatever it is that is sparking you. What is real? What is out there? Are aliens real? Um, you know, what what is... What are these conspiracies? What does this mean? You, now that I remember it, you had the feather stuck to the bottom of your crystal. And the feather is little symbols. It's little nuances and synchronicities and coincidences, things like that, where you ask yourself, you know, is there more to all of this? And spirit is going to speak to you and answer those questions in a way that's very, very clear and significant. Spirit is guiding you to be curious. Spirit is guiding you to want to communicate and hear more because you, it'll keep you on your toes. It'll keep you excited. It'll keep you engaged with this world. And that's what they want for you right now. With this judgment card reversed, I hate to say this because this message is really these messages are meant to be kind and soft and, you know, a little bit more soothing than they normally are. But with the judgment card reverse, Spirit is saying that you may think that you know everything. You may think that you have it all figured out. But 
have you had that break today? Because we want to um, give you a little bit more than what you are accustomed to and what you have already experienced. This is going to be great. Um, ask questions again and see what they say. Knight of Pentacles says, let's go on this journey together is what I just heard. Let's go on this journey together. What else is out there? Do you see how he got off of his heart horse to ride? Why? Because he wants to explore. Why? Because the, 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 the earthly tangible feelings, the sensuality of it all, like the ability to be present is and, and grounded is such a gift. It's such a blessing and spirit wants to give that to you. You can see more by stopping and going slower versus racing through. And I know that for some of you guys, you know, you're really feeling that spark and that passion, but it's also really, really nice cathartic healing for you, Four of Swords, for you to take your time with this next journey and ask some questions about certain um, the circumstances around you, but also I'm hearing what has already happened and what has already occurred and what is happening now. So some of you guys, I don't know if you guys have, can see this, but she has a heart and there's some thread that's connected to it. And it feels like there's some things within yourself that may be a little tangled up. Um, and you may feel like you have a solution with that, or you may feel like this is just it. This is the way that it is. It's a loss or it's a gain. And you have it set in your mind of what it is. And spirit is saying, no, 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 no. Like we are, the universe is so vast and the miracles and the answers and the solutions go so far out. I mean, if you think about the ocean, spirit is reminding me of the ocean right now. If you think about the ocean, like 90% of it is unexplored by human beings. And that is so crazy and so wild when you think about it, but it's also such a blessing and a gift that human beings haven't touched it yet. And to think that there's so much more out there, if that's 90% of our ocean, imagine our universe, imagine the potential within you. Imagine the potential within a circumstance. So instead of you trying to figure it all out, lay it to rest and ask those questions within your dreams. That's something else too, your subconscious, your psyche, your shadow side, you know, the shadow sides of feminine energy. It doesn't have to be heavy, it, but it can be inspiring. It can be awe-inducing. And that's what spirit wants for you big time right now. Um, I'm also feeling that the more that you ask these questions and you're curious about your environment, the world, the universe, and coincidences and synchronicities, the more, I was just about to say that, the more in, do, in, in depth and in tune, um, inter interconnected you will be with your own sense, your own sense of self. You are still discovering yourself, whether you're 90 years old or five or six months old you are still going to be discovering yourself so instead of locking in and being like this is who i am and this is what i know and this is who they are and this is what this is ask more questions and and not to the point where it can all be answered but just the fact that you are curious just the fact that you are curious means that we are going to expand more and more and more the other thing that i'm also getting um with this um, with these cards, especially with the King of Cups, is solitude. Do you see how his eyes are closed and he is feeling the vibration? He's feeling the vibe. He's feeling, he's got to get into a sense of stillness. I'm saying he, but it is you. Um, there's a sense of stillness that you really need to feel within your spirit. And when you kind of let the, the dust settle in your life a little bit and you allow spirit to speak, you will hear in different ways and that's what's also coming forward i'm feeling with the with the world card here um this cycle this cycle is ending in in your life definitely but more than that it's the lessons and i this card is not reversed but i'm really getting a strong sense especially with this idea of curiosity um you may have experienced a lot of things in your world but there are a lot of things in the world to be experienced does that make sense and as I said that I looked at the clock it was 1001 you may not have you may have experienced a lot of the things in your world but there are a lot of things in the world that are still yet to be experienced and usually when we look at the world card we think about lessons we think about I don't know why I'm hearing fortune like the fortune and the lesson like the blessing and the lesson completing a chapter, completing a cycle and moving forward. But for you, I see it more as openness. I see it more as openness and expansion and growth um, and just being really in tune to the nuances of this world and the vibes that it gives off. And again, like showing up every day and being curious and being exploring 
some of you guys might have lost that. Actually, now that I'm, I'm saying this, you might have lost that, that feeling. And that's why you're kind of guided into a space of solitude. And I'm, I also heard the word burnt out. Some of you guys may be feeling burnt out or passionless or you received a blessing, but over time, you know, um, it, it can just kind of wear you down. And Spirit is saying... You know, take that break right now, that restorative energy, but also, uh, have you had that break? That makes sense now. Have you have you had that break today? Have you had your break today? Um, did you take your break today? Did you take a breath? All right, let's shuffle one more time, and let's go ahead and see what your oracle. Gotta make it good. Gotta make it good. Wow, page of swords. Be curious. I win. I always, I'm, I'm win. I'm always winning with my intuition. Always, always. All right. What do we have here for my beautiful spirit quartz babies? Again, my apologies for the camera quality, but also thank you for bearing with it. Okay, we have simplify your life. You've had so much going on that you're spread too thin. That's exactly what I said. This has to change now so your vitality can recharge. And that's exactly what I was saying. Family harmony. So this might have to do with the time that you're spending with others or the time that you're... The things... Because it's like family is something that you're familiar with, um, good or bad. So whatever it is that you familiar familiarize yourself with or that you've been staying within your bubble or this code. I don't know why I just heard the word code. So it's like this little, you know, spaceship that you're in, you know, maybe it's time to get break, break free from that and do your thing, your own thing right now. Take your break. Truth. Ooh, despair. Travel. This is the world card. I totally forgot that you guys were the ones who got the, the most of the Oracle, but you probably needed the most. Direction. Impatience and health so these cards are all blue this is connecting me to the throat chakra i don't know if you guys have noticed this but i'm noticing it all of these cards are very very blue as well as this lighting that i'm working with right now which is funny because i chose this specifically for you and then speaking of throat chakra we have the truth card um which you can't really see that but just trust me i'm gonna work on the uh lighting situation whoop, whoop, whoop. Um, but yeah, this is about speaking your truth, knowing your truth, and stating your truth. This is what you want. This is what you have to do for you. And I, Spirit is, is saying, uh, oh, I'm hearing ask questions, ask questions, ask questions. Ask questions to them too as well. Ask questions to them. Speak to your angels and your guides. Um, when it comes to direction and travel, uh, ooh. Remember with the Impatience card, you also got the Knight of Pentacles who jumped off of his horse, which they were traveling in one direction. They were traveling in a direction, travel, the World card here, and then the Knight of Pentacles getting off of his horse in order to slow down. Yeah. Lord, please, this is this card. This card says that. If you guys hear any noise, it's um, one of my phone, my other phone vibrating. Um, Lord, please show me the right to action now. Please bring a sign and a miracle, like that feather, that gives clear direction. May I hear the promptings of my own body health. And if for some reason I'm about to head the wrong way, stop me. This is that, um, this is that world card here. And this card of despair and the truth. Look. Impatience. My life is unfolding in divine timing. All delays are beneficial. I'm right at the right place at the right time. And that's bringing me to the Four of Swords. And that showed up for you. You're unraveling and unweaving the in your nest, in your sanctuary, which is so funny because you also got Finding Sanctuary and Mystic Healer. Something about simplifying, clearing, taking that break is going to give to you everything it's literally healing energy that's coming and flowing through you that's not something that you want to rush through it's something that you want to sit with rest in it and be embraced by it some of you guys might actually be spending more time with your family instead of less time with your family maybe you spent too much time away from them and now you guys are coming back okay all right my loves i hope this makes sense also keep in mind we have the healer that showed up twice 
mystic healer and health coming through. So it's for your highest and greatest good absolutely to simplify your diet, simplify your life, simplify your workout, simplify your relationships, simplify your lifestyle, reduce your stress. Even good stress and exciting stress is still stress nonetheless. So yeah. Please uh, make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Moving on to pile number three. Okay, my loves, if you chose pile number three, which is the Spirit Quartz, this is your reading. Um, my apologies for the low quality video. Um, as I was filming, my camera battery died but we're gonna work with it. Okay, so pile number three, what does, what do they need to hear right now? Hmm, the Hierophant and the Queen of Cups. Hmm. Let me sit with this for a second because uh, I just heard the word limbo, interesting. I heard uh, help is on the way. And then as I heard that, I heard a helicopter. The Hierophant, let's talk about this. I literally just had this conversation with my Sacred Circle Tarot School. We were talking about the energy of number five and the significance of the Hierophant. This is the in-between. Hierophant is number five. Five is the halfway point between one and 10. This is the point that we go when there's a lot of change and disruption that is happening in our lives. This num five is the number of radical change. The Hierophant is significant because it represents structure, stability, and tradition. How do we have radical change on structure and tradition and stability in the same breath? Because this is where we go. This is the space that we go to. And when there is massive, abrupt change within our lives, this is what spirit wants for you, my love, right now with the Queen of Cups and the Hierophant. And as I pull that over and pull those cards over, I saw the Seven of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. And I'll talk about that with you guys in a minute. Oop, and then Eight of Cups reversed and the Four, the Emperor, one last one, Four of Wands and the Ace of Swords. What I can tell and what I can sense is that you are in a space of, I just heard adjustment and alignment, and I heard Spirit say, in accordance to my will, in accordance to divine will, in accordance to divine order. So all of these adjustments that are happening in, in your life right now, you want to be open and receptive to them. This is very yin energy. Queen of Cups, my love, she has her hands off. She has her hands off. It's so hard sometimes to take your hands off and to tap into yin energy. What is yin energy? It's feminine energy. It's about, it's not about doing, it's about being receptive. It's about surrendering. It's about relinquishing. It's not powerlessness, it's powerfulness because you understand that you as a human being, I have chills, are worthy of everything that you wish to attract good in your life. You are so worthy of that. And when you attract quote unquote bad, it's because there are lessons and wheels that you are unwinding and unlearning in your brain that you have been holding on to that have been stabilized in your life. And now as receptive energy and moving into receptive energy and attracting, you are then able to allow things to grow in accordance, in alignment with divine timing and divine order. There is nothing more that you have to walk away from. There is nothing more that you need to do. Eight of Cups is here. There's this expectation of, I have to move on. I have to let more things go. There's more things that are on my plate. There's more things that I need to. Seven of Pentacles is also the card of, let me see how far we've come and see how far more I need to do. You don't need to do anything right now. Four of Wands is balanced off by the Emperor. I am hearing, uh, there's, I, and you have 444 here, by the way. I'm hearing there is so much more that I need to say. There's so much more that I need to hear. 
I, I hear, um, I, there's like a sense of, I don't know why I'm hearing for some of you guys, you're looking for closure, especially with this eight of cups here, or you're looking for a sense of understanding and spirit is saying, uh, don't, don't, you don't need to look for that. It's not something for you to understand. We actually are wanting you to receive. I heard the word order again. Four. You have four of wands, four of pentacles, the emperor here. There's this space. I'm so surprised that you don't have the hanged man here. Even the seven of pentacles, seven is divine perfection. This is about... And then you have the Eight of Cups. I'm ready to walk away, or what else do I need to walk away from? There's this expectation of walking. There's this expectation of leaving or having left something. Um, but Ace of Swords, it would be a, it would be. Um, uh, I just heard. Uh, I was gonna say wasted energy, but I heard Spirit say not to your benefit uh, to continue to carry on in the way that you once were be still here now as everything around you invite us in that's what i'm hearing invite us in so that we can um i just heard they wanted to uplift you first before you invite in more change don't worry about they're saying don't worry about that give give that up we it's in our it's in our our will divine's will i'm hearing oh gosh angels are coming through and they're saying we're going we're restoring order we're restoring order we're restoring balance um i'm hearing the word temperance it's so interesting because i'm seeing it too this means that the shadow aspects the things that i just heard the things that feel unfair that created trauma that feel poisonous to you but the poison is a medicine to be honest with you and the things that you're excited about and things that you're proud of they're working right now in order to blend and to merge both of those things so that you understand that the this is what makes you who you are your good experiences and your bad experiences when you bring them together they're what make you who you are and with that we just love you infinitely in that this is what makes you so dynamic i heard a chord i'm hearing i'm seeing a pipe a, a keyboard it's really specific a keyboard we hit these core no it's not it's an organ <laughs> one of those big organs and the church you hit it you hit the chords and they reverberate oh my god it's so it's so powerful you can hear it from what like you can hear it what feels like miles away and spirit says let us we're singing to your soul right now we're singing to your soul and your spirit right now can you hear us can you hear us? We're speaking to you. Even when you're not actively listening, there's this Queen of Cups energy here. Even when you're not intentionally trying to listen, we know that you hear us. And if you quiet the mind, you would see us, you would hear it, you would feel it, and it would bring you peace. Four of Pentacles, you don't have to do anything anymore. Your being right now is whole and complete and perfect, divine perfection. I know that there's things that I just heard falls in all. I know that there's things that you may be struggling to accept within yourself or your circumstances, but believe me, Spirit is saying, believe me, you are so perfect as is. No need to change anything. Also, they're, I don't know why, but they're guiding to look to the right. Like, look to the right. Um, I don't know if this means that there's something significant there on the right or that they are guiding you in a different direction. They're guiding you away from right energy is also feminine energy so they're still guiding you into a space of surrendering surrendering into your into your feminine bliss surrendering into your feminine bliss that means not allowing anything or anyone to impermeate is that the right word i'm here i'm i'm sorry guys I'm just channeling right now. It's so beautiful because it's like I'm seeing cherry blossoms. Um, and I feel like I'm in Japan. It's giving me very memoirs of a geisha type of vibe. It's very feminine. It's very feminine energy. It's so interesting because I remember um, when I was watching memoirs of a geisha. geisha. She was so receptive and so grateful. 
and so authentically her she she her path up until that point was not the easiest but she respected it you know she didn't maybe didn't like it but she respected it and she accepted it as her own journey not in a way that she needed to understand it she just was like this is my fate and by being so receptive and allowing of that every step that she took she even said it herself every step that she took led her to her divine destination I just heard um, Divine saying, allow yourself to be spiritually led. I was going to say, um, to us or to it, but it's very specifically yours, whatever this thing is. Allow yourself to be divinely led. hearing the word um, I just heard uh, time something about time and I'm also hearing is it enough am I enough is it enough is it enough yes that's honestly that's so comforting because um, it is okay Whatever it is, it is okay. It is well and good with my soul, is what I'm hearing and what I'm feeling. All right, guys. Ooh, sorry for your headphones. Wow. Okay. So your oracle cards. We have smile. Simply smile and notice the profound and healing difference that it makes. I'm also noticing how we were guided to steer our eyes to the right and the sunflower follows it follows the sun it follows the track of the sun it moves its head it swivels around I love that I also heard that when the clouds are away and the sunflower can't find the sun the sunflowers turn to each other because it's like they're attracted to each other's light. I don't want to sound cliche or anything, but this is a spirit speaking and it's just so beautiful and I can't sit here and feel what it is that I'm feeling right now and not be moved by it. And it's always so wonderful to be able to um, do these readings for you guys and then feel how spirit pours into you and just also simultaneously vibe with it. It's so amazing. Okay. Become the true you. This is become, 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 be, be, become, be, come back to you, become back to you that is the true you you the state of your being the state that you already are is what you are coming back into you didn't need to change anything you don't need to uplift and uproot yourself or move or switch or change or do more just be you be you smile here now present nothing more nothing less that's the first step hydrangeas I drained you. I drained you. I have those growing in my garden and I can't say the word all the time. Confidence. This is giving me sacral and solar plexus energy, which is about our self worth, our self value. Okay. It says divine confidence is completely different. I want you guys to look at this while I'm saying it if it will allow me to show it to you. There we go. Divine confidence is completely different from the bravado of the ego. You make space for something larger to take hold. In this case, it's spirit. Divine intervention and miracles. Please, 
please, feminine energy, fill me, fill me with your confidence, O oh love. Grant me courage. I never knew I had. Oh my goodness. And as I lifted that up, you guys, Ace of Cups here. Beautiful. And we have the Devil card here. He's like, say yes. <laughs> but not in a bad way. Say yes. This is, with the Devil card, this is all about Saturn and restrictions. And it's like the things that we won't allow ourselves to do and to receive. Because it's like, I can't. I'm not allowed. But look at this Knight of Wands, man. She's so free. Over here drumming away. And the Five of Cups. She's being healed. Love that. Sanctuary. A sanctuary mm, resides, resides inside you no matter what is happening. This inner temple beckons you to enter, again, feminine energy. Take a deep breath, enter, and sit down on the throne of your own heart. Ace of Cups, what are you looking for when all of it's right here? Which is so funny because contentment. You can learn to rest in what you already have and already are and suddenly remember I'm right here resting in God. Love that. Ascending the mountain. Keep going forward. Oh, wow. Watching the clouds. Lie back, rest, and relax. How? Yo. Guys. Guys, I was just about to say, how, like how? This is masculine energy, ascension, doing, and watching the clouds, feminine energy, lie back, rest, relax. Ascending the mountain and watching the clouds. Both of these two things are here right now, and this is what is being balanced out. This is what is being balanced out. The masculine side of you, the feminine side of you. And right now, I just feel that outside of you, you figuring out, no, not even, no. I said that and Spirit was like, no, don't open the door for them to do that because they're going to do it. I know, I'm sorry. Cross, cancel, delete. This is about you entering into that space of what you have already done, how far you've already ascended is valid you've contributed is the word that spirit is saying you've already contributed and now it's very important that you rest i don't know why but i'm also getting and seeing with these pillows here you're, you guys are gonna be like what but i'm also seeing maternity or hearing maternity maternity leave Um, this is a nod towards future children, present children, or what you are creating. It's important that you lay back and that you become in tune with yourself, with your heart. I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys were the king of cups in here, even though it's masculine energy, king of cups. Pretty sure you're the king of cups here. Am I wrong? Oh, you definitely have, the, oh, the Queen of Cups. Yeah, even better. <laughs> There's a seed that's being planted here. Um, four of Wands, Four of Pentacles, um, Ace of Cups, Queen of Cups. There's a seed that's being planted here. The Emperor is here. There's a seed that's being planted here. Um, and that's a very specific message for, and that is a part of what is you are becoming. Um, as a woman or as feminine energy, you are there. You're about to rediscover a certain aspect within yourself by what is being, what has been planted and what is growing. It's not a logical answer, or solution. It's an intuitive, very feminine yin energy. I love that for you guys. All right. Well. I'm going to have to go for a walk, even though it's late night, um, just to ground myself from that reading because that was really, really powerful. Please let me know down in the comments how it resonates because I want to know. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in um, to this Pick a Card reading. Please let me know down in the comments what other um, suggestions and other readings that you would like 
me to touch on other topics and subjects.